The 4-H Fashion and Interior Design Program is a chance for students to have fun creating environmentally friendly projects while exploring careers in the fashion and interior design industries. Kay and Avonlea are here today to talk more about the program. All right, Avonlea, you tackle this. What is this exactly and what does a state ambassador do? So this is the first year that they have the um, state ambassador program and so pretty much we just serve as advocates and go around and promote not only locally in our communities but also statewide and nationally. Um, we just really want to get the uh, fashion interior design project out there but also promote the entire 4-H program. I love that. So you brought some of the pieces that you took to state and to nationals today. Yes, Obviously I want to talk about this one first because it is so crazy and it's wearable. I saw a picture of you wearing it, yes, right? Yes, Okay, tell us about this and how, how you came and kind of came um, up with that idea. Well, I am also a Texas 4-H state shooting sports ambassador. So whenever it came to trash in, you want to take something and you want to use something that would normally be thrown away as trash. Um, and so I was like, well, I want to somehow incorporate bullet casings into my dress design. So we decided to go for a, a 20s era type of flapper costume with it. Um, each casing is strung onto fishing line and then hand sewn onto the dress itself which is made out of a old curtain and sheet. That's amazing. So, <laughs> Y'all, it's really heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about this piece. This is what you took to Nationals, right? Yes, I actually just got back um, a week ago from Nationals. I, was, I placed seventh out of 16. Um, I was really worried about this dress just yeah. because it had a lot of new construction elements to it that mm -hmm. I didn't really um, have experience with, but it was, it's really cute. It was a lot of fun to sew. Um, well, this tell woman where right Nationals here, were. Nationals was in Denver, Colorado. Cool, that's fun. So I got to travel a little bit, see a little bit of snow. Yeah. But this woman right here has helped me so much when it comes to my sewing well, projects. Well, Kay, I think this is cool because, first of all, it incorporates that design element and that creative element, but it also mm -hmm. helps kids continue on with the art of sewing, which I think is yes. really critical. Well, not only just the art of sewing, but creativity. Yeah. If you can turn your imagination loose and just create anything you want. I mean, shell casings. How many shell casings? 1,044. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. <laughs> and, you know, so this is called the Trash and Contest. Yeah. And out of um, all the people who enter, only 10 are asked to come and compete at the state level. And they can be intermediate up to juniors. So, which is eighth grade, was it fifth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, I think is what it is. Or a, a senior, eighth, no, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth can do this and you have to do a video on yeah. it. You have to do a whole presentation and hope that your video is selected. And then you have to know all these environmental facts and everything's to go along with it. So lots of learning that can take place. Oh it's really, gosh. really cool. And so if you guys out there at home are interested in being a part of this, you get to do storyboards, all sorts of great things like that as well as design. Give your extension office a shout, and they can help you get involved in it in your county. So that's great. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you. And thanks for coming by. This is so cool. <laughs> yes, aren't these cool? So, so cool. We always appreciate you. Kay, always good to see you. Stick around, everybody. Coming up, the Lone Star Ballet is remembering the Alamo this Friday. Details on that upcoming production next.